back with Paul Dixon this morning from Axel Re. Paul, good morning. Good morning, Andrew. Look, some exciting news, Paul, out from you this morning. A reconnaissance and scout program kicking off uh, at Itakira. Just tell us a bit more about what the plans are. Yeah, look, we're very excited about Itakira because it's such a large uh, intrusion or complex. It's, you know, 25 kilometres in diameter and we've got a very large land holding there. And uh, we'll be doing some mapping, soil sampling and even some scout auger drilling. And the important thing to note is that similar structures in, in the region you know, host major uh, niobium and also uh, phosphate mines. And these are mines. So uh, we're in the right area, the right address, and we've got a, a very similar structure. Cross fingers, it comes up with the same results. And look, meanwhile, uh, you've got drill programs underway at Caladeo and Caldas. How are they going? Yeah, very well. So at Caladeo, uh, we're, we're focusing primarily on Area A, and that is uh, diamond drilling and also auger uh, drill drilling there as well. So we have three auger drill rigs and one diamond drill rig, and they're going fairly hard so that we can actually generate a jork resource. That's the one we're focusing on, getting a jork resource first. Um, at Caldas, it's, uh, we've recently commenced there. We've done some... Uh, uh, some trenching, some trenching work. So that's where you, you might sort of trench 10, 10 12, 15 metres uh, into the side of a hill. And we're getting fantastic um, uh, results there of kaolinite, which is a, a marvellous uh, mineral-rich clay host for rare earths. And that's, you know, right in the caldera and on the edge of the caldera. So we're very excited about that. Well, just just remind people, uh, Meteoric, you're next door to them. And Meteoric, of course, is uh, going ahead in leaps and bounds. And, uh, you know, they've got a marvellous project and, and we're certainly hoping to uh, emulate some of the results that they've, they've achieved. And just on Caladeo, uh, you've identified a new area here, have you? Area C, uh, we're very keen to, it, it'll be the focus after Area A, uh, but Area C has very thick clays and uh, it, it equally had, it didn't have any of the initial auger drilling uh, that we did pre-IPO, but we did soil sampling there and we got marvellous results. So uh, we're very excited about that because the, the depth and thickness of the clays should uh, should really help any, any sizable resource, I guess, with depth potential. You've got a conference coming up next week, Paul, which you'll be presenting at. The Critical Minerals Conference, which will be in Melbourne and Sydney. So I'll be presenting at both of those venues and uh, we'll be updating people. And I guess people will be able to have a look. We'll, we'll probably have a bit more pictures in that and, and show actually what we've got. And uh, I don't know whether people know what kaolinite looks like, but it, it looks it looks good to me and to the geologists, and that's the main thing. Uh, so we'll be, we'll be telling people what we're doing. We're focused on, on what we said we would do. We're going out there and drilling our top three targets and uh, advancing our, our most advanced to drill resource, uh, then uh, at Caladeo and then at Caldas, uh, we're out there doing our drilling as well, and we're tackling Itakira. Paul, good to speak. Thanks for your time. Thanks, Andrew.